For the first time in recent memory, the UC Irvine men's basketball team has come into their season expected to win. And with the Big West tournament, arguably the biggest tournament of the year, just around the corner, it looks like the UC Irvine men's basketball team may just deliver. And your television's Oliver Putnam had the chance to catch up with senior Chris McNeely, junior Travis Souza, sophomore Alex Young, and freshman Luke Nelson. For more, let's head over to Oliver. So Chris, as the only senior on the team right now, how do you feel it's changed since you were a freshman? From my freshman year, uh, I feel like it's more positive energy. You know, from my freshman year, we didn't have a lot of guys who were really buying into the fact of working hard every day. And now I feel like with the guys we have, um, we're working hard every day and we're trying to get better. So. How do you feel you guys take on teams on the road? I mean, my first year, I don't think we won a single single non-conference uh, road game. And then last year we built upon it. I think we had a few. And then this year, if you include non-conference and conference, I think we won five or six road games now. And that's big. I mean, it's not easy to win on the road in college basketball. And I think a lot of it is just our defense. I mean, we've held teams to uh, really low numbers. Uh, I mean, even against Long Beach, we had a streak of about eight minutes where I don't think we scored. but we held them to about four points, or four or six points. So, I mean, if we're not scoring, if you, can, if you can keep the other team scoring, you're still going to win. So I think defense has a lot to do with us winning on the road. In your third year now, you've pretty much established yourself as sixth man. Do you still feel that this title suits you? I mean, for the, for the most part, yeah. I mean, there's been a, I mean, a few times at the start of this year for special circumstances, but for the most part, yeah, it's the sixth man, the role comes off the bench, kind of do what needs to be done. What do you feel your biggest contribution to the team is? Uh, getting my guys involved, you know. Um, I'm one of those guys that the only stat that I look at is my assist because um, I'm only looking to make my guys better, my players better, and make sure guys are getting the shots in the right spots at the right time. And if somebody's hot, continue to go back to them and make sure they keep scoring for us. But, you know, the assist is the biggest part as a point guard. It's a very young team. What do you uh, look out for in them? I mean, I know it's probably difficult, you know, for some of the players who have come from overseas to now play in college basketball or first time playing, you know, as a freshman or at a young age. So, I mean, I know they're just coming along every day, um, especially from the beginning of the season to now. And so, you know, I have a lot of faith in them that they're just going to keep getting better as the season progresses. Yeah, I think um, I think I'm contributing to the team. I'm trying to. I'm uh, trying to find, you know, play within the offense, but also find my opportunities to score because I think that's something I can do really well. Um, and I think I've done it pretty well so far. I definitely have room for improvement. Everyone does, but I think I can keep contributing to the team. And as long as we keep winning, um, minutes is, is not a worry for me. As long as we win. What's going to keep you guys going to make it to the playoffs? Oh, defense. I mean, defense has gotten us to the point now where we're at. Uh, we started off really slow, you know, giving up 98 points to Fresno State in our first game. And uh, it's, you know, it's woken us up since then that, you know, defense is ultimately going to win us these games. And as long as we continue to improve on that side of the ball, offense will take care of itself. And I think, you know, as long as we keep holding these teams to, you know, low scoring numbers and low field goal percentages, then we'll be fine. What exactly is your key on defense? Is it getting guys in so that they can face tall guys like Mamadou or keeping them shooting threes? A lot of it depends on the personnel of the other team. I mean, you got certain teams like uh, like a Riverside and they're, I think their two leading scorers are the two big guys, Johns and Patton. I mean, they're, they're really good on the inside, so we try to pack the paint more. If you have a team that's more perimeter oriented, you got to you got to close out to three, take away the three. So a lot of it depends on who you're playing against. You can, there's no one one thing that works for every team. You got to change it. That's what practice. We have to, every team we play against, we practice for how we're going to play against them. So it always changes. You know, a lot of the games that we played so far has been guards that have been the top scorers. So it's a really important job for us uh, perimeter players in practice to really focus on the tendencies that we're going to be going up against in the next game and you know make sure we're really locked into you know what we're going against and you know make sure we're right and so that we can go into that game and key on what that player is really good at so we can ultimately stop them. I mean we've been holding teams to probably under 40 percent now and you know 
In the beginning of the year, I wouldn't say our defense was that great, but I feel like now we've all bought into the fact that we could be a really good defensive team. And so now, you know, every day in practice, that's what we work on, rebounding, you know, getting back in transition. So I feel like our defense is what really is helping us win. All of you guys will slap the ground when the other team gets the ball. You want to tell us a little about what that is? Uh, slapping the floor is basically it unites us and it gives us more energy. Um, we think of it as game point. So it's like the most pos important possession of the game at that moment of time. So when we slap the floor, we know we have to be focused and be at our best level. I've also noticed that slapping the floor really gets the fans involved. How do you feel their participation has been so far? The fans have been great. I mean, they've created a whole new atmosphere for the community. And especially for us, you know, we, we have a lot of fun and there's more energy when we see all our fans and, you know, in the stands just cheering us on. And I feel like it's a tough environment now uh, at, the, at the brand as a whole. That's what the Defender brand is all about. As for your presence on campus, we've noticed banners of you guys, fans will bring big heads. Yeah. Uh, what does that mean for a veteran player like yourself? Uh, it means a lot. I mean, my freshman year, it, was, it wasn't a whole lot of, uh, uh, well, not the crowds weren't the biggest, and last year they built up, and uh, you can tell uh, just the momentum. If you're in the game, just I mean, you make a shot, how loud it gets, it, I, you know it bothers the other team. It kind of gets it gets the uh, gets the bench into it, gets everybody more focused. It's just makes it more fun too. I mean, I mean, having all this support from the UCI athletics and everybody who's been helping out with the banners and the big heads and even the backs of the buses and things like that. I mean, it's it makes a big difference in it and it makes it a much better college basketball experience. It's, it's great. I think it's been absolutely amazing because uh, I, in England, basketball is not a big social thing. It's more soccer, soccer's really big. So uh, I played in the second top division in England and we must have had maybe a couple hundred people at each game, if we're lucky. And I, I've come here, I'm in my first game, it was packed, everyone was so loud. Um, it was right. It was really great to feed off their energy to help me in my game and uh, also that creates team energy as well, and that's how we and we tend to play better. I definitely think we can. We have a we have a lot of confidence in each other and within the coaching staff. The whole kind of culture here is uh, is to win. Like that's the everyone's attitude. It's not okay to lose, which we kind of experienced um, early in the season. That kind of gives us like, like a wake up call for us to realize you know we need to, we're a great team. We can be a great team. We just have to go out every every game, play great defense, and execute an offense. I think we have, we have a great mixture on our team. We have literally five guys at any time on the court that can, can score. And our offenses, uh, we have very uh, different offenses that go to different players, so different positions. So we, uh, we run a, a variety of offenses that ever, means everyone gets involved. So I wouldn't say it revolves around a certain position, but um, everyone definitely contributes. What kind of level of comfort does it give you having seven, six guys like Mamadou on the floor? Uh, sometimes it's a pain because he's, you know, a seven footer that, you know, wants the ball every possession. But at the same time, it's, it makes my job a lot easier knowing that, you know, if I need to just throw the ball up, that I can trust that he'll be able to go get it because he's a lot taller than a lot of the players that we play. And as a point guard and as a guard overall, it just makes your job easier having, you know, seven footers and big guys down there that can do the things that all of our big guys can do. A lot hungrier now that you know the targets on our back and teams are gunning for us, and we have to just go out there and you know play at a, at the top level every night, every practice that we have, and just make sure that we have our A game because it's not going to be easy. The leadership of players like Chris McNeely, Travis Souza, and the youth of players like Alex Young and Luke Nelson, only time will tell if this mix will prove successful. Until then, I'm Jonathan Boone reporting to you for Anteater Television. Thanks for watching.